Hello, my name is Dr. Barbara Rodwin. I'm going to talk to you about how to sit properly on your bike today when you're biking. We do see a lot of different types of injuries with patients that come up to Back to Health Wellness Center with respect to the alignment of their body on their bike. I do want to mention as well though, um, you should be, if you intend to do a bit of biking, having a proper bike fit done to make sure that your bike is actually set up properly for you, having the right frame size, the right distance here, the right height with the handlebars coming up and the width. Uh, but what we're going to look at today is the little nitty gritty things on how you want to align your body on your bike. So when you're looking at that, a couple things to think about is with bikes, you'll either be using, some people have uh, cages that they can tighten their feet into or just regular pedals, or they have uh, clip pedals. These are clip pedals, uh, but I'm just gonna have running shoes on today to show you. So when you are on your bike, you wanna watch when you do rides. I'm gonna get online. You want to make sure when you're riding, for one thing, with your foot on the pedal, make sure your feet are always pointing straight ahead. I am out biking often and I'll see people where they're not clipped in and they just have running shoes on and they have their foot either angled out like this or in a bit. And that will change, as you can see, a bit of the alignment of your leg, changing the alignment of your knee to your hip to your foot, which can aggravate things. So both feet pointing straight ahead on regular pedals and even when you clip in some people actually don't have I've had to check patients uh, uh, biking shoes their cycling shoes and their cleat their uh, cleats on the bottom sometimes aren't straight and I have to straighten them out to get them so that their feet are pointing straight ahead so you want to make sure they're straight. That's looking at the feet. And the other thing to think about is the distance from down through your leg area. Some people don't put their seat up often high enough. And what you're looking at when your foot is down to the bottom of the pedal stroke is just the bit of a bend as you can see in the back of my knee here. Often what happens is people have their seat that when they get to the bottom of the pedal stroke it's only that much of a bend and that's going to put a lot more pressure on your hip and your knee because you're actually loading your knee more with that. And so the better distance is this distance where it's just a bit of a bend in the back. And then when you do ride then you can get a better movement with things. So the other thing to think about is when you do go to lean forward, often what people do when they lean forward is they slouch like this. And when they slouch like this, it actually puts more pressure on your arms and your shoulders and it causes you to round your back. As you can see here, you'll get more back pain. You tighten up your hip flexors with that. And then in order to look forward to ride, you actually have to raise your head like this. When you go to get on your bike, what you should be doing is taking your whole body forward like this, less tension on your hip flexors and your hips, a lot easier on your back, and a lot easier on your knees and your shoulders. There'll be a lot less tension. And in this position, I actually don't have to lift my head up to look because I'm actually just looking straight ahead. So I do get a lot of people in during the season where they're getting discomfort here and that's causing issues with that and their hips. The other thing to think about is when you do come forward and you're on your handlebars, when you're riding, you want to keep your wrist straight. Don't be bending it like that. If you are bending it, you're going to cause a lot of numbing into your fingers and wrist issues because you do compress a nerve in there. So you want to keep them straight like this. And uh, what you can do, these bars here, there's not very any place to move my arms onto, but if you're riding a regular 10-speed type bike, you could either be up on the hoods or down at the bottom while you're biking and off to the sides. And again, you're keeping your wrist straight on the little curly bars like this and this. Don't be doing it. It's often this motion that people do. And then they do force more pressure into their shoulder because I don't know if you can see that when I do that, there's a lot more, there'll be a lot more tension into my shoulder. 
So those are the different things to think about. You want to keep the bend in the back of your leg. You want to do a flat back forward. Keep your head looking straight. Don't look up. So you keep your shoulder blades together and then your wrists and not that much pressure on your arms. If you're not able to get into this position on your bike properly, it could be either you mechanically or something with your bike that you need to get fitted. So it is actually recommend you get a bike fit if you feel you need one. You can also then ask me about it when you come into the clinic or feel free to email me about where to go to get a bike fit.